Effective video marketing for a business happens when there are multiple videos for different needs used in different ways. But importantly, I believe that everything is better when it works together. So how can you map out a video marketing strategy that works together to grow your business? G'day guys, I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing and on this channel I share tips, tricks and strategies to help engage your ideal audience to action through effective video marketing strategy. If that sounds valuable to you, then make sure to subscribe, hit the bell and don't miss another video. For many businesses, utilising video marketing in different ways across their marketing and sales channels, it can begin to seem like there's a whole bunch of different video stuff going on, but no clear idea of where each piece it's in the bigger picture. So many activities! I'm making my head spin how many activities we can do. That's why as video strategists or video marketers, I recommend taking the time to create a video marketing activity map as part of your overall marketing plan. Let me show you what this might look like. Okay, so there is a specific way that I want you to lay out your video strategy activity map, but you can customize it based on the specific activities that you're planning in your video marketing strategy. Now the activity map takes a standard grid pattern here and down the left hand column we're going to write the specific stages of the customer journey. Now there are other videos on the channel here that go deeper into what I call a full funnel video marketing strategy. So if you want to dive into that, click the link in the description or check out the link in the YouTube card right here. So on the left hand side what we're going to write here is the different key stages of the customer journey. So we'll simplify it to awareness, engagement, conversion, and advocacy. Okay, so we're not forgetting about those customers who have already bought from us and can become loyalists and advocates of the brand as well. So that's the customer journey down the left hand side. And then across the top of this matrix, we're going to write the specific types of videos that you're planning on implementing across the full suite of your video marketing strategy. And in this case, we're going to break it down into a few different key types of videos, which I'm just calling produced video, which we're going to potentially use a video marketing company. So these are higher budget, more produced videos spaced throughout the year. And then we're going to do some video blogs, which depending on the capacity of your specific business, you might be able to produce those in house or you may use a video producer to work with you on those. But then we're also going to plan for some DIY type videos shot on the iPhones and stories type videos using uh, Instagram stories, TikTok kind of content as well. So more of that rough and ready raw type of content across the video marketing strategy. We're going to consider implementing some live streamed video as well throughout the year. And finally, we're going to talk about some one to one personalized video as well. So that's the kind of spread of the content types that we're going to be sharing across the course of the quarter or the year. And now the goal is to think about how we're going to map out that activity based on what the current priorities of this business are. So what I want you to do is to think about um, creating content or, or mapping out the strategy based on key priorities, looking at the overall picture of this business. Okay, and we're gonna use three different colors here on the iPad just so that um, it's nice and clear. So we'll focus on the high priority tasks first. So when we're thinking about the things that we kind of think of them as must do's throughout the year. We cannot miss these. It's critical to the success of our business. And if it's identified that what we need to do in this business this year is to build awareness and sell more product. Pretty common marketing goals, right? So what we're gonna do is to focus on some key awareness building activities using our video marketing. And we're also gonna focus on some conversion focused activities as well. And we're gonna put high priorities on those. So what that looks like is we're going to consider, for example, some brand awareness type content that's going to be um, produced video content. So we're going to invest some budget in that. We're going to call that a high priority for the year. And we're going to mark that with a H for high. And we're going to mark that in green. We're also going to be creating some video blogs as well, which are designed to build engagement and also awareness. So I'm going to mark that as a high priority in both of those spaces as well. And we're also going to create some personalized video, which is used in the sales process. So we're going to encourage our sales teams to be doing more personalized one-to-one -one sales videos in their sales funnel. And we're going to also mark that as a high priority. 
We also recognise that there is some untapped additional sales that can be made from our advocates or people who have bought from us before. So we're going to use some one-to-one -one personalized video to re-engage past customers and work in that advocacy stage as well. So in this case, we're going to call that a medium priority though. So we're writing an M there for medium rather than a high priority. Live videos for the purpose of engagement. So we're going to do some, some live videos around some events that we may uh, produce throughout the year, but we're calling those a medium priority. Um, and we're going to uh, really focus on doing some stories content, both for the purpose of uh, awareness and engagement. So we're calling that a medium priority, not a high priority for this business this year. We're going to also in focusing on conversion here, we're going to produce a number of, um, or planning to produce a number of sales videos, produced sales videos, but they're a low priority because most of what we do at the moment is um, the sales teams are able to convert pretty well without these kind of sales assets, but it is part of the plan. So we're gonna call that a low priority from a budgeting point of view. So depending on whether we can get the, the marketing budget that we need, this is like higher budget kind of stuff. We're talking like mid budget kind of stuff here. And then obviously we're talking, you know, zero dollar kind of stuff here. And this is pretty much zero dollar kind of stuff, right? So um, that's the kind of the way to think about how we're going to be making these decisions. So what you can do is you can actually build out a marketing map, a video strategy activity map that at a glance can show where you need to be focusing when you're allocating budget, time and resources throughout the course of the year in order to align your video strategy to your overall business goals. So depending on your business, your customer journey and the various channels that you're utilizing in your video strategy, you'll definitely wanna customize your activity map to suit you. But once you've designed your strategy and mapped it out like this, you'll have a fantastic 40,000 foot view of the various video marketing activities happening in your business and exactly where the attention should be given at any point in your overall marketing strategy. But I'd love to know what you think. Is this activity mapping tool something that you'll be implementing for your video strategy? Whack a comment below and let's talk about it. And then when you're ready to go deeper into video marketing tips and tricks to grow your business, then check out this video next and I'll see you there.